All right. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday. Monday morning. And you know what time it is? It's time for me with you giving you some virtual marketing information. And yes, my name is Eddie Sand. I am the Optimistic Marketer. And today we are going to talk about the ABCs of virtual marketing. And it's not what you think. So that's coming up next. Hello, welcome, good morning. So we've got over here, we've got uh, Periscope and of course Facebook. Welcome everybody. Thanks so much for showing up and for watching. If you're watching the recording, again, I have, uh, I've committed myself to be here live every single day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific, and to give you what you all need to take advantage of this virtual movement, this virtual wave that's happening right now, how to get more eyes on your business, and I'll give you the things that you need. So just follow along today. Hey, good morning, Bridget. Good morning, Natalie. Hope you guys had a great, great weekend, a restful weekend. All right, so as you guys know, I have to say good morning to Instagram. So in just a moment, you'll see me present myself again. So here we go, and let's see. All right, Instagram, good morning. This is Eddie Sand, your optimistic marketer. And today we're going to talk about the ABCs of virtual marketing. That's coming up next. All right, cool beans. Let's get it together. Let's get it on. So, um, you know, what I want to say, by the way, before I get started, is that I, I my condolences go to all of those who are experiencing some kind of crazy issues going on of course i'm not going to get into it i don't like to get into it too much but i do have to say is this you know everyone we're all human beings uh man we we've, we've just got a where we you know that move that song there was a song before that i remember is it's like where's the love <laughs> you know man we really have to come together you know and one of the things that i want to tell you is that we got to pray we got to ask for for guidance and, and, you know, just um, stay cool and stay calm, you know, just, just really let's go through this together, you know. And, uh, but anyway, my condolences are for those, who, uh, those families who are experiencing some, um, some bad things, you know, and unfortunate things. But let's stick together, okay? Let's make things happen and uh, let's have some patience and bring some peace to all of this misunderstanding. So anyway. Let's get on to marketing. That's what I'm here about. That's what I'm going to do. So let me make sure that Facebook is, uh, you guys are good to go with my end. All right, here we go. So the ABCs, A, B, C, E, C, S, one, two, three. <laughs> mm, my coffee, my goodness, love my coffee. ABCs of virtual marketing. All right, so in sales, I remember learning always be closing okay a b c always be closing always be closing can i tell you that with virtual marketing it doesn't work that way now you may see it okay i'm not saying there aren't people out there using it yes but it does not work as effective as if you do something different and that's what i'm going to present to you today you know today actually um this this theme, this topic, I literally just thought of it this morning for two reasons. Um, one is that there's, I know the situation and I know what's happening is that business owners are starting to, I don't want to say panic, but they're starting to look at the situation and, and they want to expand their business or they want customers to re-engage with customers to bring them back. So a lot of times, right, we tend to just start pulling things out of the blue and, and try to come up with ideas to bring things, to make things happen, ultimately to make more sales. So the other reason why I'm going to tell, talk to you about this today is that you don't want to stop. Content, the content that you give out is very important, especially right now. Yes, it's not like three months ago, Right? Yes, people are going back to work. Yes, that some businesses are opening up. But things are not going to be the same. They're not. 
We are being pushed into this virtual world. And the virtual world, if you are not prepared for it, your business is going to fail, unfortunately. All right. Unless you have a plan, you need to prepare that take advantage of this wave of opportunity. So right now, what I'm going to show you is the very simple approach to you need to be always creating content. So hopefully you're choosing something that you're passionate about or something that connects with your market and your business that makes that connection. Okay. So this is where creativity needs to happen. And this is why I keep saying, if you want to expand your business online, this is it. This is the time. Live streaming is your, I, I believe is your number one tool right now to use. Okay. Everybody else is doing it. When I say everybody else, I mean, every business that is, that sees the opportunity is taking advantage of this. By the way, I just read over the weekend that Verizon, which I did not know that Verizon did this until this weekend, they bought blue jeans. You guys probably don't know blue jeans. You haven't heard of blue jeans before, but blue jeans is another zoom platform. It's another Zoom platform. I remember back in the day, they actually were the first ones who started to do what Zoom does now, which was Blue Jeans used to do the, the um, you can use their app and go as a third party app to go live on Facebook. They're the ones who started that. So, and then Zoom caught on and I don't know what happened to Blue Jeans. I never follow up with them. But now I find out that Verizon has just purchased them. <laughs> okay. So they are part of Verizon now. And that was millions of dollars. So do you not see things are changing in our industry? The virtual market, there's a shift happening in the virtual market world. So you need to take advantage and be part of this. All right. So how do you do live streaming and why do you want to do live streaming? Here we go. So here is my, my fundamental idea on why you need to do live streaming is that you need to get yourself out there live videos so that more people get to know you. Who, who else, how, are, how else are you going to present yourself or your business if you don't go live? I mean, you've got to do that. Okay. People love to engage with others, especially now through social media. So you go live, People get to see you, get to know you, and then what happens, they start to like you. And with that like comes trust. And when they trust you, my friends, they're going to come back to buy from you. It's just the name of the game that has been played for years. The big companies have spent billions of dollars in advertising on that little screen TV to convince you when you feel hungry, you go through a drive through When you feel pain, you go and buy this certain medication. They, they've done it. And that is what you're going to do, but you're not going to spend billions of dollars and you're not going to be scamming people out of anything. You're going to be sharing what you're passionate about. You're going to be sharing what you know. You're going to be sharing, number one, either your expertise or you're going to take people on your journey. All right. So the ABCs, one, two, three, <laughs> I still have that song. Every time I say that Michael Jackson, right? ABC, easy as one, because it is, it's easy as one, two, three, the ABC. Look, always, always be giving content. I know I came up with that. So it's not set in stone. You guys can help out if you want to name it something else. But I need you to understand that instead of always be closing, you're going to have to be always be giving content. All right. Content. It is something that it's hard as entrepreneurs, as business owners, even myself years ago. Okay. I remember here's here was my idea. You probably can relate to this. I remember thinking, okay, I need to create, I used to hear it a lot. I need to create content, content, content. And so there were times when I didn't know what to do or what to write. And it was actually more typing back then. I was supposed to do blogging. Me and writing guys, if you haven't noticed this yet, why do you think I always go live? 
if you see, if you even, when you start getting like newsletters from me or, or emails from me, very, very often you'll see maybe a paragraph or, or a sentence leading you to a video, okay? I don't do the typing. I don't like that. That's, the writing is not my thing. But video is, talking is, right? So anyway, back in those days, I'm thinking, well, I got to come up with content. And, you know, they used to teach me, you have to come up with, uh, so, uh, what is it, like one content or three con pieces of content uh, at least a week, minimum of one a week with over a thousand words. <laughs> I mean, it was overwhelming just thinking a thousand words. What the heck am I going to say? Um, and content, but it was always content that I had to come up. And let me tell you, I didn't do it. I didn't follow through because it was hard. It was hard for me to come up. I was trying to get into what I was passionate about and, and learn from this, from my mistake. Okay, learn from this. I have a passion for marketing. I have a passion for sales and dealing with people. Back in the days, I say when I first started back in 2012, um, be actually before 2012, within a, a few years before that, I was I've been in the fitness industry and I was selling uh, a little bit of marketing, but but it wasn't so much online marketing. Well, what happened was that I knew I was passionate about that and I wanted to let people know. But how do I let people know if I haven't even done it? That's my that was my idea. That was my thought. I'm just starting, you know. I, I know I've learned it. This is this is what I thought. I've learned so much, but who's gonna believe me or trust me enough to to follow what I have to say? So I freaked out and I used to think I gotta come up with content to sound good, to sound interesting, to to attract people. And I got caught up in that. Can I tell you the number one thing that has helped just about anybody that I've helped and myself, because that's, that's, it just works. You've got to be yourself first and you got to bring something. That's why I'm breaking it down as easy as possible. You choose and decide, okay, I've done, um, you know, sales for a thousand years. So I'm just going to teach sales. Or you come up and think, okay, I'm most passionate about something. Let me take people on a journey because this is my beginnings. And I, I want people to see that too and experience that with me. But you've got to start and you got to be yourself. Okay, that's it. When you are yourself, what's going to happen is you're going to get other people that can relate to you. And they are going to give you feedback. And guess what that feedback is? Feedback is content. Do you see that? Um, what was it? I talk, Hey, Joey, what's up? Good morning. And Steve, I just saw you guys, but see what happens is, uh, I was going to say, Oh, I was, I was talking to Steve this morning. Right. And it's all about, you know, you start feeling that I need to come up. Like you start to come up with, you need to come up with ideas and all of a sudden that starts to become work. Okay compared to your passion. Do you guys, if you have, have you realized this? I can talk about marketing all day long. I, man, listen, I think my wife, she's so nice to me. Every time I go and have a story to tell her, or if I see something when I go out and, and I, I, I'm always seeing things about marketing and, and, and businesses, how they promote themselves or, or in the magazine. And so I always go and talk to her and how I think of, and what I think they should do and what would I do different. And my wife, I mean, she's, it's come to the point where she's doing this, like, oh, hmm. <laughs> you know, I think like, you know, she knows me. I probably, she probably doesn't care. <laughs> Right. It's like the most boring thing for her to be listening to this subject. But for me, I can keep going and going and going. Uh, I mean, there are times where I, I basically I remember my wife telling me, uh, Misty, by the way, her name is Misty. So Misty will usually, usually would tell me like, hey, you were talking in your sleep. I was like, what was I saying? It said it sounded like you were having your workshops, <laughs> my events. Right. That's how much I get into it. It's because I'm passionate about it. There's something about marketing and sales that it, I'm just attracted to it. 
So I'll never run out of content. And because I, because of you, all of you watching this recording or being here live, you guys ask questions. Well, guess what I do? It just gets me more excited to answer, to answer your questions. And that's more content. So you get my picture. I, I know I'm kind of taking you through uh, different processes here and giving you stories. <laughs> But you've got to understand that if it starts to become work for you to try to come up with this, always be giving content, then that means you may want to consider doing a little bit different or maybe adjusting your approach or make the choice and decide, you know, I am going to give. I'm going to be present. I'm going to, like Joey told me, and, and I'm, I'm telling you, it was the right time at the right place at the right moment. Um, emotionally, I was there just just basically, you know how it is, right? Preparation leads to opportunity, right? So I've been preparing all this time, the opportunity and that cold conversation that I had with Joey, we always talk and something about, I don't even know what it was that we were talking about, but all I remember what he said was, you got to step up and show up. When he said that, it clicked. And so I decided, you know what, in this, through this time, I want to give and what I can give is what I have and what I have is marketing. So I'm going to go live. And I told Joey, if Joey's still here, Hey Martha, good morning. Right. I told Joey, I was like, Joey, it was like Wednesday. And then I said, I'm going to go live on Friday. And Joey, of course, is like, what the heck? You know, he's always shocked that I'm always jumping like that. Right. And so, and so I did it and I think, oh no, I was, I said I was going to go on Monday. So I was going to give myself a couple of days in the weekend to think, to think, I just told you, don't do that, to think about what I'm going to, what content I'm going to start talking about. That was Wednesday. I think Thursday night, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go live. Friday went live. The weekend came. I don't know what I said on the first day, but then Monday came and it just kept going and going and going and going. And it's been now almost three months. Okay. So this friends is what you want to think about. Think about your approach. If it's not working, are you passionate about it? And take a, take the opportunity right now to really, really start thinking, Hey, do I take people on my journey or do I give them my expertise? Because it's going to show. It's going to show. If you're not yourself, people will see that. And, and, and then you'll get the questions, uh, what are you selling? <laughs> you know, like he's just trying to sell something. Did you guys know this? Speed of implementation. Yes. Thank you, Joey. See, Joey's the man. If you guys, man, if, if you just know Joey, Joey is, is the the clarity guy. That's what I call him, the clarity guy. But yeah, thank you, Joey. Speed of implementation. You've got to take action. You've got to do something right now and then make it work for you as you keep going. But did you know, um, what was I going to say? Darn it, Joey, it's your fault. <laughs> I was going to say something. Now I forgot. Um, anyway, whatever. It'll come back to me. Anyway, point is this. Really simple stuff, guys. So, you get people to see you, to know you. They're going to start liking you because they see you a lot. And then they're going to trust you enough to basically come back and you'll become the go-to person, the go-to business. They'll come back and say, hey, yeah, I need this. Let's go see Steve. Let's go see uh, Brittany, uh, uh, Br Bridget, not Brittany. Bridget, let's go see Natalie. Let's go see Mar Martha. Martha, it, that's what's happening to Martha right now. Implementation. Yeah, implementation, meaning taking action, right? That's it. Implementing what you already have, okay? You know, that's another topic. I'm going to talk about that later, maybe next week or so. But that's another topic. You've What you have, uh, listen, I'll, I'll leave you with this, okay? What you have as a human being, it's enough. I want you to think about that. What you have as a human being is, is enough. It's more than enough. Because if you are watching me right now, something has led you to be here, watching this video, being here with me live, something had led you to be here. 
meaning that there's something inside of you that either you have a passion for or you want to get into because you have a passion for. So you have enough. Everything you know can help one person out there. They just need to hear you. They need to hear your message. They need to know you. Once you, once you go out there and start doing this, taking action, implementing what you already know instead of learning more and more and more. No, implement, go at it. Things are going to ha start happening. So that, that was one of my things that uh, I think messed me up big time years ago that I thought, I don't even know how I got, I got into the idea, but I still see it a lot. I thought that I needed to learn before I can teach. That's not so. You need to teach so that you can keep learning and teach more. So hopefully you're watching me, you know something, you've got a skill, you've got experience, maybe you want to dive into something new that you're passionate about, do it. Go after it, make it happen, go live, Trust the process of just go live. That's really, ask Steve. Steve, if you're still here, ask Steve. He just went live. We had a conversation this morning. He, uh, I'm not even going to spill the beans, but when he's ready, he'll tell you what we talked about. But he just went live, okay? And all of a sudden, he's busy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really just get started. All right, so if things are not working for you, I want you to go back and look at this. Always, always be giving content. All right, so if you're not giving content and if you have things out there, uh, posts, uh, blogs, websites, and they're not working, consider this. Maybe you're not giving the content. Maybe the content you're giving does not show who you are. That's a lot of, a lot of times that happens, right? You get so caught up on making the buck, making the money, right? And you may end up, because I've done it too, by the way, okay? I ended up promoting other services and products that have nothing to do with who I am. As a matter of fact, it came to the point where I was, my values, my values were, were hurting because I was promoting and I was trying to push something that was against my values just to make a buck. And I know how it feels, right, Joey? <laughs> Joey will, no, don't tell him. <laughs> but Joey knows, okay? So it hurts. I learned and I'm sharing my experience with you. Do what you love. Have a passion of what you do. And be good to others. Share, right? Content, share. Because someone out, out there is waiting for that one piece of information that's going to make a difference in their lives. Cool? Man, it got deep, huh? Did it get deep? Woof. I feel like a preacher now. <laughs> All right, guys. Bang on. <laughs> look, at, look at Joey. Bang on. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. We were both... Yes. Yeah. You know what? And it happens to anybody. That's why I hope that you guys listen to what I just said, because it happens. It happens, right? We get caught up. You know, that's what happens. We get caught up. But once we, once we got caught up and we learn from that lesson, you better take that lesson and not go back to that again, or at least avoid it as much as possible and focus on who you are. And that's going to help you through, especially in this time. So, Remember, live streaming is number one. As a business owner, you got to understand. You've got to have a marketing plan. Uh, you've got to go virtual, expand your business virtual. And the way to start is go live. Once you go live, you start giving the content. People will start liking you and trusting you. And before you know it, they'll want to have what you offer. And by the way, they'll tell other people to come and get what you have too. So go for it. Do it. All right, guys. Thank, thanks for all of you. Awesome, awesome. Man, look at this. All these peeps talking. This uh, video keeps pausing. It might be me. Yeah, I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe it's me. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much again for watching this uh, episode Monday morning. And again, my name is Eddie San. I am the optimistic marketer. And every week, Monday through Friday, I committed myself to be here live, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 a.m. Pacific. And it's all about how to get more eyes on your business in this virtual movement of marketing your business online. Get with it. It's an opportunity, and I don't know how long it's going to last. Get with it. Do it. Do it now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you again. Uh, everybody, thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, stay cool, stay calm, and keep a sound mind. Peace.